Hi everybody, this is Shakwe. I promised to do a follow-up message. I started a conversation for people who are trying to come here on a student visa. So today I want to add on to that conversation. First I want to talk about cost because it's at the center of everything. The cost is everything. So by now I hope you, you went from my previous video I asked you to Google all universities in the US by state. I love for Anza Kuangalia no apply. I told you about how to avoid um, application fee. And I also asked you to Google community colleges, all community colleges in the states by state. So I want to talk about cost. The average cost of a university, a four-year or a four-year college in the U.S. is about twenty-eight thousand dollars a year for international students, and then the average cost of a community college per year for tuition is about six to eight thousand dollars. A stack of difference, right? Twenty something thousand dollars is like versus about six thousand dollars. So if this is your first degree, this is my advice for you. Or you're changing careers, you're starting something new. Come to a community college. Apply for community colleges. So what you wanna do is Google all community colleges in the US by state. A lot of ones are apply. What you want to do too is you want to choose to leave off campus. The average cost for living in campus is about $8,000. And if you leave off campus, you have the choice to have a lot of roommates and it can cost you about $2,000 per term or even five months or you know $2,000 to $4,000. So that's a stack of difference. So choose to leave off campus. Once you start communicating with the admission advisor, Anza Kuliza Maswali, can I leave off campus? Some colleges do have restrictions for students who are under 21. So they 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 won't permit or they, they have restrictions if you are under 21, they want you to live in campus now to acquire a choice. So you wanna ask your finance for your admission advisor, the one who started writing you once you submitted your application, ask them, hey. Do you have any restrictions for leaving off campus? If they have restrictions, then song Gambele to the next college because you're gonna, you are looking for ways to save, right? Um, I'm gonna talk about the weather again. Weather is gonna be colder than you think. So think about it this way: some very cold states sometimes, ukimwaga maji when it's winter, ukimwaga maji in the air, it comes back frozen. So that's how cold I can't think of another way of telling you. So if that's an issue for you again, apply for colleges that are in the South. Uh, the next thing is you want to check if your college is accredited. Accreditation is a certification or um, the Department of Education giving certification to a school to say you're meeting certain standards. So some colleges do not meet certain standards. You want to come to a college that is accredited because once you complete your two-year education, you want to transfer to a four-year college. So if the college that you went to is not accredited, then you wasted your two years and your money. So it's kind of like the situation, I think it was two or three years ago with, uh, was it Nairobi Aviation School? They were not, they were not certified to, to be a college. So it's the same. So you want to Google your school. If you've uh, liked a school, either Google or ask your advisor, the, the person who is communicating with you, ask them, are you accredited and what is your, what's the name of your accreditation? Where can I see that in your website? I love who Google that accreditation to see whether it is actually a major accredit accreditation. So, so you don't have to waste your time. The next thing is before you get an I-20, an I-20 is a document that the school will give you to take to the embassy to get your visa. So an I-20 is like an acceptance. Let's, it's like an acceptance letter. Or it's a document. Like I said, it's a document that you will need uh, to take to the embassy. So before they give you an I-20, they're going to ask you for a bank statement. As I come up with a scholarship, let's say 80%, they want to see, that they want you to demonstrate that you're able to take care of the 20%. So, kama umeenda River Road, kutengeneza hiyo bank statement ama umeambia rafiki yako who knows Excel very well, akutengeneze bank statement, you pate I20, you would still need to find a valid 
bank statement to take to the embassy Chukweyo in Uli Pata River Road because the embassy is going to verify with the bank. So I just wanted to say that that even though you have the I twenty and you use this, it doesn't mean Utapata Gombela Sawa. Sawa. Um, the next thing is, are there any international students? You want to ask the school, the representative of the school that is communicating with you, ask them, do you have any international students in your school? Oksama, yes, Mwambia, can I ask, can I speak with one of them? The reason you want to speak to them is you want to get a feeling of how the school is. Most likely, most schools have international student organization and they have leadership so they are most likely the the contact person from the school is most likely going to give you a contact information the email for one of the leaders ask them questions ask them as many many questions as you can um next is is this really worth it like when all the through all this hustle nanikinyumwa or whatever nanikikuja is it's really worth it to come to america i'll tell you what i did ask some people before i did this video i asked them knowing what you know about america today after going through the many troubles would you consider doing this again knowing what you know and most of them said yes so it's a good thing that you're doing your life is going to change forever when you come here and when we do time more, what kind of change is it going to be? Is it going to be a good change? Is it going to be a bad change? When we do time more. Uh, the next thing is check reviews, Yashule, on Google. So let's say, for instance, you have liked a school called Johnson Community College. You want to go Google Johnson Community College Google reviews. Students leave reviews. In Google I love to read through them I'll tell you those students will talk about their experience with the school and then are more based on on that so I am being considerate of your bundles I'm going to do another video on what you should expect at the embassy um, I'll help prepare you for that I love also uh, talk about culture what you should expect once you come here and also answer many questions that I'm getting in my inbox so thank you so much for tuning in today. Until next time, God bless you. May it be done to you according to your faith as you work, not as you talk, not as you wait. May it be done to you as you work. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon.